one to go. Go ahead. Fragility was a solid piece of work. When she walked, her world wobbled. In the hippo game, sink to the bottom, she was always the first to touch mud. Her strong jaws could munch a field of grass faster than any lawnmower, and she never cried when she stubbed one of her toes, or all sixteen. But if injured toes didn't bother fragility, something else did. Injured feelings. Fragility was fragile. When someone said, Fragility, you look so nice today, she would wail. You hurt my feelings! Nice! Do you know what else is nice? Cupcakes are nice. So you're comparing me to a squishy cupcake. With that, she would flop on the ground and weep. Or if someone said, Fragility, you have such wonderful sturdy legs, she would wail. You hurt my feelings! Sturdy legs? Do you know what else has sturdy legs? A piano has sturdy legs. So you think I have piano legs. And flop she'd go weeping. And if someone said, Fragility, you have such cute little ears, she would wail. You hurt my feelings! Cute little ears? Do you know what else has cute little ears? People have cute little ears. So you think I resemble a people? Flop weep. As time went by, the other's hippos, fearing she would throw more fits, stopped speaking to fragility, and she became a big, solid piece of loneliness. One afternoon, all of the hippos decided to play a game of pickup soccer. Fragility had chomped the field to perfection. She stood solidly in the goal, making save after save after save. All was going well until Rudy appeared. And Rudy had an appropriate name, for Rudy was extremely rude. I'm going to eat you a go for my lunch. The hippos gasped in horror. Rudy bellowed at Fragility. Step aside, big solid thing. You're blocking me lunch. I'm hungry and I don't have all day. Fragility was frightened, but she was a solid piece of work, the protector of the goal, and thus she stood her ground. So Rudy, who knew of Fragility's fragile feelings, decided to dissolve her with insults. Ruby said to the smirk, you are very gray and pudgy. Very gray and pudgy? Do you know what else is very gray and pudgy? And Elle? The weeps took over and she couldn't finish her sentence. Rudy stomped his foot. There's no such thing as an Elle and stop weeping on me lunch. By the way, you've got legs like tree stumps. <gasps> tree stumps? Do you know what else has legs like tree stumps? And Elle? Elleth? The weeps took over and she couldn't finish her sentence. Rudy jumped up and down. I've never heard of an elif. And I repeat, stop weeping on me once. You're making it soggy. Have you noticed your ears are just plain weird? I'm weird eared. Do you know what else has weird ears? An el elif elephant. Weeps and all, she finished her sentence. Elephant, wondered Rudy. Seriously, elephants have weird ears? He trotted over to the water tub and gazed at his reflection at his big floppy ears, and his tree stump legs, and his very gray pudgy body. Then he trotted back, flopped in front of the goal, and wailed. You hurt my feelings! Seeing the big bully in such a state, Fragility couldn't help but feel sorry for him. She brought wet washcloths to soothe his red eyes, and a tissue so he could blow his trunk. Then she cradled his head and cooed. There, there, I know just how you feel. In the time Rudy calmed down, and he did not eat the hippo's goal. He said he'd be back soon to clear them, to cheer them in their game. But first, I'm off for me lunch. A nice salad as you lumber away. Rudy calls fragility. You're a solid piece of work. Solid piece of work? Do you know what else? And then she stopped short, smiled sweetly, and said, Why, thank you. The end.